But if you're not talking to people through the channel that they're interacting with, then there's a good chance that, that your conversations are landing on deaf ears. Right? So for example, I never answer my phone. I have this phobia of telephones. And I have a greater phobia of voicemail. Right? So when I, was, you know, when I worked in Westpac, my boss used to communicate with me through voicemail because he was never in the office. And so every voicemail he ever sent me was about work. And every voicemail he ever sent me created more work for me. So I've created over time this phobia of voicemail. So now what I do is I get my mobile phone. When I, when I go back to the office, I get my mobile phone. I hand it to my assistant. I say, can you get my voicemail? Because I, I actually have a phobia of it. Right? So if you call me, I'm unlikely to respond to you. Right? If you email me, I'll call you straight away. Right? So the channel, and, and we all, if you think about it, we all have very peculiar channel preferences now. We never used to. You know, we used to just be able to pick up the phone or, or drop, it in the email, drop it in your mailbox. Right? But we all now have very, very peculiar channel preferences. We check our phone at certain times of the day. Right? So if you send somebody an email at 5 o'clock in the morning, it works for some people because they're awake. If you, if you send an email at 9 o'clock for some people, it works because that's when, they're, that's when they're relaxing watching TV. So we all are, become very, very peculiar about the way that we consume our media. And you need to understand that. Because if I can be where you are, right, then I've got a much better chance of having a relevant conversation with you. Okay, click to this one. So, so this is an example of a, a customer of ours who um, got a 200% lift by changing the way that they executed their campaign. Everything else was almost the same. There was a DM piece, there was an outbound telemarketing call. Right. But what they did was that they tagged them all together. So the first thing they did is they sent you out the email. If your email bounced, they sent it to you via direct mail. If you open the email, they called you the next day. Right. So what they used to do is they'd send out this piece of direct mail, it was a PDS, and then they'd send the, um, the list of 70,000 people to the call center, and the call center would call you mm, sometime over the next month. Right. By tagging that call to when you open your email, and by using multiple channels to get you the information if one of them failed, they increased their response rate by over 200%. The actual result is more like 500%. Right? Same campaign, same context, same conversation, same product. Same basic trigger that they triggered the initial communication off. What they did was that they managed it through multiple channels and they made the channels responsive. So if your email bounced, they did something. If, you're, if you opened it, they did something. They were listening, not only to what they were, not only to what they were saying, but also to how you responded to what they were saying.